Imjar is trying to make sure he, he's just trying to make sure the Topsy and Turvy survive. I mean, he wants to survive too, but he's mm-hmm. he's got to make sure the Topsy and Turvy survive too. Why? What's the motivation? Back. What's the motivation behind that? Oh, I can't back. share that. With you. Oh, you're there. You are. <laughs> oh, that was spooky, wasn't it? That was, yeah, no, you were frozen it, it was on like, screen. It was like three it was really minutes big. before anyone realized that you were frozen, just like we're over here role playing. We're, yeah, we're having full on conversations. What was my face and, like? What was my face like? It, it was literally you were just staring straight into the camera, just like you were you were kind of it was kind of the you sure or the what kind of face. Well, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm back now and I'm so proud of you guys because you're 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 like Dungeon Master's gone. We're in the middle of roleplay scene. <laughs> it's, we didn't even realize until halfway through the conversation well, that you were gone. My goodness. I was about to say, what's the last thing you heard? Honestly, so, I just heard you guys being like, oh, but Jib Jar, uh, you should uh, die. Um, <laughs> I, I, I didn't okay. hear anything else. So, okay, so basically, Jim Jar was like, I am going, I have to do this because I have to save Topsy and Turvy. Mm-hmm. And. Um, yeah. yeah the, and, and then I, I think the others like kind of like came to the conclusion like after a little bit of, of him being like and they're like no you should just stay behind I'm like I'm not staying behind and then they're like well I guess if he wants to spend the last little bit of his life being productive eh. if nothing else comes from it being productive is a good way to go I guess alright so I'm going to say uh, <laughs> Shushar can lead you guys because my goodness he rolled a good survival um, unless there's anything else you want to do now, uh, Darendel will ensure you that they will be safe so long as he is on watch. Cool. And so who's him. going? Is, is it all four player characters going in? Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. All four player um, characters. Shushar Ronch. and Jim Jar are going to the, the ruins, and then Stool and Sarath are going into the, into the woods. Into the woods to so, so find... Da, 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 okay, actually, wait. Da, 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 da. Which characters are doing what? Yeah. Shushar and Jim Jar. Are going into the ruins, ruins to okay. find Drinks. whatever they can find, and and then stool, ingredients. right, right, and, and then stool and Sarath are going into the woods to find any sort of her uh, herbs that can be of use. All right, um, I need you and actually, I need I need both of you to make survival checks. Uh, I guess. Sarah's and I stool? need now Shushar, Rant, and Jim Jar are going to the ruins, correct? Correct. Yes. yes. Okay. So, oh, I saw stool with that natural twenty. I was like, wait, that was beforehand. I got okay. seven. Seven. Yeah. Um. Eight. And Can it be a nature check good. instead of a survival check? You know what? Um. Yes. Yay! I, because I figure you need to identify some of the stuff that <coughs> might be helpful. Fourteen. Plus, 17, uh, 17. 17. All right. 14 I'd say uh, the two of you are going to spend two hours out there in the wilderness of the Underdark. You're going to be able to find your way back, but you're going to be able to uh, have some ingredients to make whatever oh, no. they might find oh, in the ruins wait. work better. Oh. Um, for Shushar, uh, you're joined with Ront and Jimjar. And oh. the two of you with this massive orc he's going pretty much just to laugh at jim jar as he his yeah. poison self just like it is hard to move jim jar like it is rough stuff but um the two of you move forward and you definitely see um the ruins that uh you saw in the vision surprisingly and you see this it's not a large ruin it's just it's big enough to house a beholder, apparently. The roof and several of the walls are blasted out. Um, They're already blasted? Yeah, like uh, it looks like this was a big bad scene. Um, and honestly, you're able to just walk into the ruins, uh, no problem. It seems like this is the only structure this far out. It seems like maybe he had uh, like outposts out there for some servants of his to like look out. For whoever was going to come in. Maybe he wanted to turn this into something bigger. But for now, you need to make an investigation check in order to find what you're looking for. Um, and you're at disadvantage, Jim Jar. Um, would I have 
a, a negative disadvantage with the, with the rest of the people helping me? You could attempt that, but somebody would need to help you rather than do the role themselves. Yeah, well... I'm not Vaunt sure if Ron is going to help I don't you. think that Ron could do much on his own. Yeah, I think I think uh, Ron is just going to... He's going to... I guess Ron could, like... If you could convince Ron to help you, yes. he That would negate it. But right now, he's just... Clearly, he wants to see see you die without lifting a finger of his own at this point. As like, he's he fall. just wants to be there for when you kick the bucket, honestly. As we enter the ruins, I am going to use my... Uh, what's it Could called? I try to persuade him? Uh, yes, uh, Shushar, you're doing something, right? Yeah, I'm using my precognitive hunch, which lasts for one minute, so I'm starting it right as we enter the ruins. Okay, you start to enter the ruins. That uh, does what now? Um, the uh, adds the 1d4 to all of my rolls. Basically all your rolls, that's great. Um, yep. So what do you want to say to him, Jim Jar? So I'm going to be like, all right, I know me and you didn't get off on the right foot. I should have been a little more honest with you guys what I was going to do back there. But I did come away and I did save your life. I might have been a little bit careless about the way I did it, but I still had the good intentions. It hurts me to say this. and Don't tell anyone else I said this, but I'm sorry. <laughs> um, make a persuasion check. I'm sorry, who are you talking to? I was getting really shitty um, shit for a while. Who are um, you talking Rant. to? Shushar? Rant. No, Rant. Rant oh. it, he wants Rant to help him search for stuff. Oh, um, okay. Rant. You see he has this rather firm smile on his face. Um, and he nods. And he says, yeah. You've certainly done a lot. And we're alive, I guess, because you cast a fancy spell. And I will cast more fancy spells, and I will promise to offer transparency with the future spells that I cast. I won't just go off with some crazy idea next time. I will let you know. That's fine. I suppose I'd want to see you suffer a bit more. Trust me, I'm suffering a lot right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's making my day. And Dick. Grumsh <laughs> knows I need something to keep me occupied down here. And thinking about how I'm going to kill you myself one day, that's, that's something I'll live with. It'd be kind of pitiful if you just had pieces of yourself balloon off into the sky. Uh, so know, that, let's, that sounds rather violent to me. So let's let's take a look around, shall we? Yes. And so that he'll like my... yeah, he'll he'll give you help, which uh gives you advantage, which gives you just a regular roll. Um Shushar, are you investigating as well? Yep, Shushar is investigating on this. Right, roll investigation. Add one, ooh, add one D Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been fine without that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, wow. Okay. The two of you are able to uh, scour through the ruins. Uh, you do find that uh, area that appears to have been ransacked by Topsy and Turvy. Um, it seems as though uh, it, it was old. not ransacked. It just seems like there's a big rough fight in there. You don't really know what happened, but a lot of the ingredients and stuff have been tossed around. The equipment is damaged. There are huge scorch marks here and there, as well as various other things. But the um, you two are able to actually find several uh, different ingredients, as well as uh, one uh, potion uh, that actually has survived this seemingly rough battle. Most of the other ones look like half-made elixirs, uh, but there does seem one, uh, Shushar, that uh, you do hone in on, 
Um, Jumjar, you also find uh, another little chest sort of tucked away. Um, it's been like smashed open by some great weight, and you see that there's some chainmail inside. More chainmail. Yeah, you would have like oh, you would have like <laughs> you would have glanced over it, but you rolled high enough to just notice like oh there's some there's a chest here and it's got oh this chainmail you pull it out it is gleaming untouched by the grime and destruction surrounding it. How big is it? Uh, it uh, it feels like it would fit over pretty much any form you'd say. But it probably looks like it would fit best on like something lithe and fit like an elf, maybe. Okay. Are there enough of the Dibs. alchemical tools? <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 <laughs> you're like this big. Uh, maybe there look, enough but of you're like this big. <laughs> oh my! He said any form. <laughs> any form. The uh, there is also. As you scour through this area, there are parts of the ruins that have like a soft red glow to them. Um, and Shushar, as you are sort of gathering ingredients, including that one potion that you found, um, you sort of glance around and uh, it looks as though these soft red glows, you walk into one room and it's coming from a rather large beetle. That just just sort of lights up once you enter the room. A large beetle? Yeah. Hmm. This so, is Sh- Sh- Shushar Jimjar? Or uh, Shushar, give me a perception check. Yeah. Shushar Jimjar. And, would, and this would be before, would this be before one minute would have passed? Would this be like right on the tail end of my pre I'd say this is right on the tail end, we'll say. Okay. Right, so that's an 18 oh. total. 18. Um, as you guys have been like scouring these uh, ruins, you definitely notice that some large insects have sort of like swooped in, uh, noticing the activity, and they're starting to just explore the ruins alongside you. Um, the one in front of you isn't attacking, but it's sort of snapping its pincers together sort of like warding you off you see about maybe like mm. six s- soft red glows in other parts of the ruins all of them sort of like clumped together and it looks like they might be trying to take this as like a territory of some sort kill them all Avoid kill it with things. fire um, Jim Jar, I gu- I'm guessing that you also would see this uh, once Shushar pointed it out to you. Um, with the alchemical well, one of the things I would have been trying to do right before that, yeah, pointing out would be to see if if, if Shimshar wants this chainmail, if he thinks it'll fit or if he can wear it. Otherwise, I'd probably take it back and maybe offer it to um, Sarith. As long as she doesn't threaten to kill me again. <laughs> no problem. Also, um, Paradox, can you? Yeah, your your mic, yeah your your mic little, is really quiet. Uh, like, it sort of jumps up here and there, but uh, the recent one is a little quiet. Yeah, let me see if I can adjust that even. I don't know Imagine a, it adjustable. a bug bite from a giant mosquito. Like, Ow! bites you and it's like... <sighs> a, like oh, it's that just, would it's just, be... Yeah. Right, right. Like how when you get a bug bite on your knuckle and it swells really tight, imagine that on like the side of your face. I have Just the mic nice. closer to my mouth now. Is that better? I actually think that's Slightly. a little bit better, but it could be a little bit louder. Okay, um, I need to take a look at some of my stuff, but as but while I'm doing that, um, are there enough of the alchemical tools that aren't destroyed that could put together a makeshift herbalism kit? There we go. I believe, yes, you'd be able to uh, arrange that. Um, Carrying it and avoiding the notice of all of these beetles that have sort of invaded your proximity uh, is going to be a little bit difficult. So you could either uh, try to, like, sneak your way out if you could and just avoid them. Raunt is sort of like, nah, let's, let's, let's fucking kill them. 
<laughs> Give him a rock. He'll have fun. Yeah. I just need these. <laughs> and he just flexes like, yeah, some beetles. Hmm. I don't have a lot of psychic points left. I'm a bit screwed right now. It's true. Um, that and uh, Jim Jar, you are still poisoned. Moving stealthily without hacking and coughing and just being miserable is going to be difficult. So there's just this one beetle? <laughs> no, there's approximately like six uh, sparsed throughout these ruins. Um, you could all try to do a stealth check. Rant kind of just wants to go at it and just hammer them all to death. With so, his fists. Uh, can we just where, like, try... where are they? They're, they're, they're like uh, just sparsed throughout these ruins in different rooms or hanging off of like the destroyed walls. Um, that's generally how it is. Now that we've got what we need, can we just like, try you to could, like, make like, a they're dash kind of for like, it? Yeah, you could just dash for it, um, or you could try to sneak out, or you could just fight them. Like they've kind of like surrounded you guys, so it's kind of like hard to like not get the notice of one if you fail one of them. Are, are there any of them close to each other? Uh, yeah, the, I'd say some of them are very clumped up together in one one spot. When they find something, they sort of like all just like. <laughs> so I'm gonna look at the clumped up. The most concentrated area of them how many of them are there i'd say there's about like four the other two are sort of like behind you guys just sort of like uh crawling yeah. along the outside walls good i'm gonna look at those four and i'm going to just like kind of cast a spell what what type of spell sir what type of I'm spell assume, could it i'm be? assuming a spell that will kill them all oh earth and blast <laughs> Yay! Oh, a 15-foot cone. Each creature takes five bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh my god. Okay, turn. then. What happens is uh, you just, I guess, you look at uh, this clump of them, and you notice, like, oh, there's still a little bit of ceiling there, and there's some walls <laughs> there. I think I could just... <laughs> and uh, with bending this, style. Yes, with this uh, spell... You're able to just bring all of it right on top of them. And you hear a sickening chitinous. And nothing comes out of there. That does, however, uh, bring attention to other ones. Yeah, that does. Oh, that's your turn, though. Um, that does, however, uh, get the other's attention. So everybody roll initiative, please. Ooh. Or at least... Oh, I actually have an advantage on my initiative because I was in my precognitive discipline. Is that an initiative or is that pre-turn? Uh, that was uh, pre-turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll initiative twice because I have advantage. Okay, that's barely better. <laughs> and let me get these. Oh, Rant, why? I keep trying <laughs> to make you cool, buddy, but you're just... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I try to be nice. I try to be nice. This is how you treat me. Um, let me get those two. Eight and thirteen. Thirteen. Rot seven. And for uh, Jim Jar, you got eleven. Mm -hmm. Jim Jar had eleven, and Shushar got six. Yep. Good job, buddy. Hmm. That advantage was great. <laughs> I mean, it's too bad you didn't have that thing that gives you plus a d4. Mm, well then, yeah. let's let's give this a shot. One of the beetles, noticing this loud clamor and understanding, hmm, there's fleshy things here. I will bite them. It rushes forward to attack <laughs> you, sir. And it says, it, I, I assume it would say this uh, uh, and proclaim its attack to you in this manner. Let me double check what its to hit is. Two. Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh, wait. That's the scorpion. Oopsie. Let's not do that to you. My apologies. Get him even more poisoned? I mean, why not, buddy? You're doing great. Plus one. This is coming at me? Uh, no, this is straight to Shushar. Oh. He gets a 20. And that hits. Not that. 
it is going to do oh god six you take two damage and <laughs> since you took damage would you like to give me a wisdom saving throw yep sure oh okay. yes nine things okay. are happening things are happening so um shushar this beetle sort of like makes a perfect arc and it like latches its uh beetle pincers around your thick neck and just tries to squeeze and you feel like the ribbed uh edges of it just just clench down on your neck uh and you feel the stinging pain of your skin being like just clenched hard so hard that it starts to split um how do you react i pinch <laughs> as... i had to do that but i didn't want to interrupt you. i see i see <laughs> uh... as... as this thing of pinches around shushar uh shushar is normally like calm sagely like eyelids drooping slightly looking kind of disinterested um but as this thing pinches around his neck something like shifts in him like his eyes start twitching they open wider he like his he sort of like opens his mouth a bit with like a toothy grin he has like some of that classical kuotoa fervor that you're used to seeing from the kuotoa he's like fidgeting he's like breathing heavily he's acting a bit strange he should be grimacing in pain but instead it's the complete opposite as this thing is literally latched around its neck and just um mm -hmm. jim jar what do you do this is shushar getting all yes yeah frenzy yeah. happy about getting his neck pinched mm -hmm. he's sh shit's about <laughs> to go weird. down i'm so ready yeah. for this. Oh, and, uh jim jar it's your turn buddy oh. so are these things under one to five pounds? In between one to five pounds? Five? I'd say it doesn't say, but I'd say they're at least five pounds. Under or? I'd say exact, honestly. I couldn't tell you. What are you trying to do? Spell. What kind of spell? Overkill, but. Oh, I didn't know you had power word overkill. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna like look at one of them and it's kind of like um, because it requires just a semantic no verbal or material so I'm just gonna kind of look at one of these things and just be like is that? this okay catapult oh Ooh. now is this the one on Shushar or no uh, the one that has not come at Shushar yet okay and this one to five pounds is being carried. It flies in a straight line to ninety feet before impacting a solid surface. I'm doing that away from us. Okay, it goes <laughs> across <laughs> the, ca the the cavern that you're in. And it just splats against the wall, and it echoes in the cavern. You assume it's dead. <laughs> Uh, that is your turn, unless you'd like to move. Um, away. Away you, from... You start the... taking steps away. Um, yeah. that beetle's dead, and it's Ront's turn, so he's gonna rush up and try to, uh, punch this thing off of you. Does that hit? My god, Ron! <laughs> he... He, he, uh... <laughs> rushes forward he does this big bellow like Rah! like trying to like like relive his old, battle like, cry battle cries like he when he had like ten thousand other orcs doing it it was really intimidating but now it's just like ah, ah, ah. um and as he tries to like punch at it just to like knock it off of you um it like lets go and just <laughs> just like dodges like up in the he air he plants instantly. a solid fist right in your throat <laughs> and it is currently hovering above you shushar <laughs> and rot it is your turn shushar okay shushar it's been a tough couple of days for sort of looks at this thing 
He says, you dare threaten Shushar the Awakened. And he points his finger at it, and it needs to make an intelligence saving throw. It's DC 13. DC 13, intelligence saving throw. Fail. I, I'm, intelligence. I'm dead certain it has minus something to this. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> minus that much. Hey, Abby, Abby. Yes. Beautiful. Check Discord. Check the Discord. Oh okay. my god. Uh-huh. Minus five to intelligence. <laughs> um, oh my god. Seven. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> As Shushar points at this thing, it feels a pressure inside of its tiny insect mind, as if its mind itself is being, like, crushed. And it takes four points of psychic damage. Wow. Guess how many hit points it had. (laughs) Two. Four. Four. (laughs) You just imploded the inside of this bug's brain. How dare it? How it... This literal insect before you. Shameful. You send out this simple wave of psychic energy kill. And the bug, the bug's head just sort of like caves in on itself. And it falls to the floor immediately. And that soft red glow dissipates. It is gone. Hey, Shushar just stands over it, cackling like a madman. The cavern fills with his triumphant uh, laughter. My god, you have not felt this good in forever. And I would like you to... You have to roll some stuff, don't you? We have to figure out... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's another wisdom save now? I I... Now that's over? Now that's over? Yeah, I think you're like this for how many days? I think it was like 3d4. Oh wait, no, it was a d4 to figure out um, how long it was until you could make a saving throw. Ah, okay. Okay, so... Two. So, you... Shushar... uh, The Awakened. Uh, You were like this for two days. Alright. And then something could trigger another wisdom saving throw, but for now, you are who you are. Okay. And by the way, the discipline that switch that I switched to when this transformation happened is my just for record keeping is my psychic assault discipline, which added the plus two. That's delicious. Yes. Which so, you needed to kill this thing, so good job. Yes. <laughs> so I, is is Shushar just like is he a pacifist? Because when he fights, he gets all mad, insane, and just wants to kill everything. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. You're not here to ask him that. (laughs) No, I'm very much enjoying Shushar just like... (laughs) I know, I love it, I love it. Amazing. Yeah, like, like, Jim Jar, you see that Jim Jar is, like, slathering a little, like, his eyes are Foaming at the mouth. (laughs) Yeah, his his eyes are, like, focused. They're not, like, like, pacifist Jim Jar, his doctrine of non-violence um was like it was kind of silly to see him and like hear him because it, one eye was just like over here and whatnot this guy is focused we <laughs> like on point dead ass killer <laughs> and uh do you want to do anything else here before you leave we've slayed these pitiful insects is there any reason to remain here oh dear Ron just looks at shushar and goes that, that was amazing. Yes, yes, that is my power. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> well, I I knew you had it in you, buddy. Good job. Did I, did um, I just hit a button? I don't know. No, no, you're good. You're good. Um, okay. You all can return to the place. Jim Jar, you feel like death right now. Um, Stool and Jim Jar return. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this potion, like many of them, back at the ruins has been labeled. Um, it says, Potion of Cure Disease. <laughs> would, would, would you like to give that to someone? Oh. Um... I am proficient in Arcana. Could I somehow determine the ingredients for this potion? If you knew that Shushar had it. Right now they just came oh. back. Oh. Uh, all of you are back at this point. 
Uh, so, do I, do I know Shushar has that? I'd say you saw him poking around in the room that supposedly had some potions. Shushar, do you attempt to hide it? Um, no. Shushar is just like sort of throwing it up and down, catching it in his hand, like no regard for it at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. And as they go back to the group, he's actually going to switch disciplines to his psychic inquisition discipline. Mm -hmm. If someone who is communicating with him telepathically lies to him, he will know. Ooh. Okay, that's good to know. And uh, everyone can, is telepathically communicating. That's good to know. Can I? Can, can I? Can I? Can I hold? You're, you're gonna. You're gonna break it. Can I? Can uh, if I? you. If you must. And he'll just sort of like toss it in Jim Jar's direction. <sighs> Jim Jar. Uh, um, so. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw to catch him. Oh my. You are yes. you are poisoned. So you have disadvantage. I want... 11. I'm not looking. <laughs> it sails through the air. Shushar, you toss it and without another care you just turn away. You don't, so you, don't, you don't feel particularly interested in what he does with it, or if he even catches it. And, Jimjar, you see life falling before you, and you dive. You rush forward to catch it, and it bounces against your chest, and your arms just sort of, like, fold in on themselves trying to grab it, and it slips through the first... And then you just you just bring up your hand and you clutch it just barely. He caught it. You caught it. Holy God! The whole time I didn't even look at my roll, so <laughs> that's that's very that's very lovely. Uh, Paradox, turn your mic up again. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the chat was asking. Mm, Paradox. Oh, okay. yep. Yeah. Oh. That's okay. I appreciate you. So, I see you guys found a potion that Shushar almost just threw to the ground. Um, why? Would you do something like that at all, ever? I had no need for DM, it. He was the one who wanted it. I tossed it to him. Just, just, just by looking at this, do I think this would cure my ailments? Oh, certainly. Do I think there's enough for me and another? No. No, I don't think there's enough, or no, I don't know if there's enough. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jim Jar. This is a Ooh. small bottle. It is barely a mouthful. You have a potion. Cool. Uh, what kind of potion is that? I, I can't tell. You can't that. read. <laughs> I also cannot read. And you can't see either. <laughs> well, I mean, I could. Shut Would up. What potion is it? <laughs> Would there be enough for me to like take my finger, dab it in there, and then take it over and hand it to him and still be able to drink it? I mean, so you want to like get a drop on your finger and then drink yours? Yeah, and, and let him see the drop so that he can try to replicate it. Ah, uh, give me. Wait, just don't don't drink it. Just let me let me look at it for a minute. I just want to see. No, he need the whole anything. batch. He need the whole batch. I w Let the mushroom. Now, now he's thing. not gonna spill it or anything, but like, I'm I'm gonna say like you probably it's gonna be like a miracle if you have everything you need to like make another concoction of this. And not only that, these guys only have about like maybe an hour to live. Topsy less so. She probably has less than. 20 minutes because you can see the things are ballooning already they're like growing right. thicker over time right um technical question does cure wound would that be in any effect unfortunately in reducing or removing the boils now i know if, it's not if, cure a disease but I, I i think like a boil or some sort of growth if could be if you had wound. someone willing to make a medicine check I would allow uh, you to use cure wounds to help stabilize them because yeah. the surgery would be cost hit points on them depending on how good the person rolled. Right, right. That's that's yeah. kind of the intention of what you guys did. Abby, you're rolling 16. 16. Um, you're performing surgery, right? Oh, 
<laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm performing surgery. I guess you're performing surgery. Um, <laughs> Oops, I tripped and fell, and now I'm a surgeon. <laughs> at, at this point, like, Shushar, do you even fell. want to attempt to operate? Because now this drow with mushrooms growing out of her head is kind of taking your patient. Or, or is she your patient anymore, really? Yeah, no, they're not my patients anymore. Shushar just sort of chuckles and is like, "Do what you will. I, I will watch. And if you fail, then I will. Sh then I will take the place." Okay. How? Fact Wait. If she fail, fails, the, the person. Fail. Is... So. If, if she fails, the person is dead. Don't you think someone who has arms and knows what they're doing should okay, so, be Abby, the first to go? Um, Topsy, as I wrote it has very few hit points. I'm gonna double check really quick. Um, actually, wait. She's technically a were rat, so... Okay, she has, she has, 30, she has 33 hit points. Oh, there okay. are four boils. She's gonna take a d8 every time you perform surgery. So, this one, she's gonna take half of it. If you roll higher than a 15 on each one, she's gonna take half of this. Okay, so um, she takes okay. three. She has 30 hit points. Can I do a medicine check to try and help guide Abby in what no, she's doing? You are, no, you are preparing a cure wound spell. Okay. All right, so do I have to make a medicine check for each of the... Yes, you do. Oh. And, he's so, be, and he needs to be higher than 15. Oh, well, or I really else she takes that. the I'm just going to drink this potion. Don't drink! Um, don't! It's gone. No, you drank it. All right. Um, Jim Jar, well, you feel slowly the bo the the boiling cysts, that's literally what they felt like, they are beginning to sag. And after a few minutes, it's just stretched flesh. You can... You, they're kind of just like nasty cysts, so you'll just have to let them empty, I guess. Ew, she takes a full D8, gross. that's 24 like, health I'll points. Slap someone with it. Um, next. Um, as they're doing that, Shushar is going to say, Mushroom, drow, do you have any ingredients for me to con to create a potion to assist? Um, oh, distractedly, she's like, over there somewhere. <laughs> they did yeah, gather. playing a video game. They did gather stuff. They did gather stuff. Okay, he's going to take that. He's going to take his makeshift herbalism kit. He's going to set up his little meth lab in the corner. And... Meth lab? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so you're just trying to make what kind of potion? Um, just any kind of poultice that would, re that would, like, help them maybe reduce the swelling, just anything that will slow down the process I, of what's killing them. I'd say you're gonna be able to give, uh, Topsy a free hit die with that 16 of the herbalism kit. Um, I believe at this, she's down to 19 health points. Um, this is the last one, so... Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so that's three. Total of 16 health points. Um, I'm going to do a little homework and say that until uh, Topsy is able to recover full two days rest, she's not going to be able to recover those hit points naturally. Okay, well, I'm going to do Cure Wounds, which is a 1d8 plus, what was it, 4, I think it said? Yeah, 1d8 plus 4. <laughs> so 9. 9. 9, 15... 24. So she'll have a total of 24 hit points until. Um, That's not bad. Oh wait, no, like I think I what I meant to say was her max hit points go down. So for now she's going to have 24 as her max hit points until she gets two days of full rest. Two like, full nights rest. Two full nights rest. Um, okay. but okay. beyond that, yeah. right. um, you'll be able to assist in that shushar if you want. Right now you kind of just have like a hit dice that you can grant someone. Um, so make note of that. You have a poultice of hit dice, I guess. All right. But Shushar, <laughs> but Shushar, you are okay. You're fine. Um, actually, hold on. I don't think cure wounds would work in that fashion to raise her max hit points. Um, so I think your spell wouldn't work. She would stay at 15 hit points in that case. Oh. Would I, think, I know I, that it wouldn't do anything? Um, it certainly lessens her pain. She's this is like no anesthesia, so I would say you're oh, using yeah, this that's, to like. That's true. I was literally carving into her. Yeah, you're literally oh, ripping God. out these like half-formed, like deflated balloon mushrooms out of her. Ew, um, parts of her arm. that's it's nasty. Gross. Um, okay, but so um, now... wow, you successfully did that. Uh, guess what, Shushar? 
What? Sloop, Sloop Dulop is less than two days travel. Ooh. Yeah. You All expect right. and you will you expect you can encounter maybe a patrol or scouts by tomorrow you're that close to the dark wing. Cool. Um, How do you feel now about that? Now that the surgery that? is um, done. This now that Shushar's now that Shushar is a bit different, he feels a lot better about going to sleep loot off. He has more of a skip in his step. He's leading the party more a bit more quickly. Mm. Alright, well, Hold, hold on momentarily. Now that surgery is done, I'm gonna whip around and look at Jim Jar. What happened to I must make sure the twins stay alive? Mr. <laughs> Chug the whole potion in one spot without letting me look at it. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna stand next to a stool, kind of like. You said that no matter what, you need to make sure that the twins stay alive. I said, hey, let me look at the potion so that I can try and recreate it. And what did you do? You gulped it down in one swig. You lying sack of spores. I, 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 I don't have spores. You will when I'm done with you. <laughs> wow. You guys were doing surgery. I thought you had them. Surgery, wow. surgery only helps with physical problems. If they're poisoned, then surgery is only going to prolong the inevitable. Because of you, she still might die. Right, Are you being cured? No. It was extending the, the time that she has left. Well, I guess the more we do the surgery, we'll get used to it. Can I, 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 I can't, I can't believe you. I can't believe you. I'm just going <laughs> to wow. turn around and just, oh my God. I just, I can't even do anything. It's, it's I'm surprised you didn't bet that she would live or die. Yeah, I'm also surprised <laughs> that, about that. How long do you think she has? She is... She's still out of it. Um, the surgery that they did basically only stabilized her. She now has a max HP of only 15. Um, that's going to last uh, until she gets like full day's rest uh, twice. So, uh, she, But is she going to She's she going to survive. Or? She's going to survive. She would have died in like less than half an hour, I guess, if you guys hadn't done that surgery. And okay. like poured that cure wounds into her. I'll tell right. you what. Right. I'll tell you what. Okay. I bet she lives. Oh, you only bet she lives be after after no, 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 we no, no, made no. sure she when, was all when right. the odds are in your favor. Can right. I? You are disgusting. Not just now, not, not just now. No. She's can I start. when he says that, can Sarah actually step forward and take a swing at him? Oh like, huh. yeah, it's gonna I happen. Guess. Go ahead and roll an what attack. Would he... It'd It'd just, just be, be like unarmed an, attack, right? Ar unarmed yeah, attack unarmed. Sort of so thing. it's just your strength. Okay. 12. 12. What's your AC? Mine? Uh, no, uh, no, Jim Jar. Uh, I'm not wearing mage armor, so that would be a 12. It just hits. Roll a d4. And add your strength. Bom bom! Three. You take three points of damage, and with a sickening, just echoes in the cavern, and uh, the scapees of Belkenvelv stand a little bit split. Not as of whether they're going to survive or not, but whether they're going to like it. And as they are only two days away from Sloop Dulap, the home of Shushar, the apparently now exceptionally awakened. Yes. We look forward to reaching those shores of the Dark Lake. And that's where we're going to end our session today. <laughs> ah! Well, so gosh darn. <laughs> I'd like Monkey, to. You lying piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure the twins stay alive, Gwomp. Oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, Let hey. Me hey. Potion. Yeah, sure, Gwomp. You, this poor innocent stool, what have you done to him? 
<laughs> but uh, by the time wow. by the time we're I done, mean, I'm gonna be worse honestly, than Jim. It's, it's, it's what I feel Jim Jarrett would have done. It really is. I mean, Jim Jarrett to me is, is a lying scumbag, a lying yeah. sack of spores. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, as he's it was really good role playing too. Like, <laughs> it was um once again that i was i was willing to throw death in your face and i did and surprisingly you guys came out on top and i'm very proud of you and we look forward to what we have in store um besides this i don't really have anything else to announce other than next week we're doing festival of colors next week we're doing this again and hopefully at some point in the next couple weeks we will fund that mouse guard goal but yes. again I'm going to go ahead and do another shout out to Indigo. Just check out this lovely yes. Indigo. Indigo. Yeah. This fancy ink board design he provided for our stream. If you'd like one just like it, or perhaps even better than what we have here, by all means, contact him. Go Give and him. check out Indigo Go. Yeah, Indigo Go. Sorry. You better go. Indigo, I, I'll get I'll get a theme song next time. I swear. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but um, uh, yes. we'll uh, we look forward to uh, what dangers we are gonna face. Cause certainly the end of we're each other. Not. We're gonna we're either gonna get killed by something or end up killing each other. Who knows? Hopefully my mic will be working by then. Huh? Oh, you're yeah. working now. Days, days you're working now, now buddy. Yeah, yeah, it turns out that yeah, it turns out that all I had to do was have Zoom stop automatically adjusting my audio. I said it's a manual. Buddy. But hey, yep. I right. just all good like now. to I'll just thank you guys again. You do great things with these characters, and hmm. my goodness, no party mode. Ooh. Are we having Loving fun it. yet? <laughs> Hell yeah. We'll see you guys it's next. Good... Thank you so much, Abby. Uh, Bye, Chad. Sorry, I have so Bye, but hey, thank you for stopping by tonight. <laughs> I'll see you guys <laughs> elsewhere. Yep, see and you all next week. Next time on the forum. Peace out. Farewell. See ya.